Updated on Wednesday afternoon, September 27, Labour MP Emma Dan Code admitted she may have been wrong about Prince Harry's military credentials, but she refused to apologize for poking fun at Harry and the rest of the royal family. The politician said her comments were in context with a discussion about whether taxpayers should fund the royal family, telling the Evening Standard this is a debate, not a revolution. I want to debate about taxpayers funding the royal family. Advertisement continue reading below We actually also said, I have been told this about Prince Harry, but if I have made a mistake I will hold my hands up. I was talking about whether taxpayers should fund the royal family. I was just poking fun. But we need a proper debate about the royal family. It's about taxpayer funding. Why are taxpayers funding them? Why can't I disagree? It seems like we are not allowed to have an opinion. In being called everything under the sun this morning, getting all sorts of vile abuse. This has opened the gates to hell. Original story Labour MP Emma Dent Code landed herself in some very deep water yesterday after claiming Prince Harry can't fly a helicopter and that he and Prince William are not that bright. The politician for Kensington and Chelsea which is the Royal Borough of London made the derogatory remarks at a fringe event at the party's annual conference in Brighton, according to The Telegraph. Harry can't actually fly a helicopter, so they had to make him couple it. So he just sits there going vroom vroom, Code is reported to have told the audience. Advertisement continue reading Bello she went on to comment that Harry and William are not that bright, before adding just let them drift away, be playboys, or whatever. Prince Harry has served in the army for a decade and qualified as an Apache helicopter commander in 2013 meaning he was able to take overall control of the helicopter on missions. He also completed two tours of Afghanistan and was promoted to the rank of captain. The MP also went on to claim that Prince Philip has been unfaithful to the Queen, saying the Queen might want to step back when she hasn't got her cough, cough soulmate beside her. Has been mocking about for years, has not been a faithful husband. She then declared herself the royal family's worst nightmare and announced that she turned down an invitation to meet the Queen when she was elected. Senior Labour MP John Woodcock has since apologized on behalf of the Labour Party and said her comments do not represent the views of the party. Posting on Twitter, Woodcock's statement read I want to make clear that the highly inaccurate statements reportedly made by one of our colleagues, which disparage Prince Harry's military service, in no way reflect the views of my party. Like everyone who puts themselves in harm's way to keep us safe, His Royal Highness deserves nothing but praise and respect for his service in the armed forces. I'm really sorry this has happened. Meanwhile, Harry has been hosting the Invictus Games in Toronto, during which he has made his first public appearance with Suits actress girlfriend Meghan Markle. I mean, the MP didn't hold back, did she?